you're gonna go on a road trip and the first sign that there's like a detour or a road close that's it you go home what is good people it's you girls Dove coming back at you with another video today I wanted to talk about you know doing parts and not doing the whole or specifically doing a part of something and then judging the whole and let me give you some examples of what I'm talking about here if someone gives you a list of tasks in order to complete an objective and you only do some of those tasks and then you wonder why the objective didn't work, that's your fault for not doing all the tasks. A prime example that most people can relate with would be homework. If you don't do your homework, you're not gonna do very well on the tests. It's just facts. Like if you do all your homework and you study even more so than you're supposed to, you're gonna do better on your exams. Like it's a very clear example I actually just thought of that one right now and it's probably the best example I've thought of so far like with doing that because it's just so relatable and it just makes perfect sense if someone says your homeworks count for this percentage your quizzes are gonna be this percentage and your uh, present your class participation is this and then your tests are this and then you flat out say I'm not gonna do any of the homework and then you wonder why you know that that it didn't work and then you come in at the end like well can i have some extra credit or something and they're like no you didn't do the original work why am i going to give you the opportunity to like make more points for just you no that's that's not fair when all these other kids did the work and then you're just sitting there like wondering why this system is broke when the reality is you didn't do all the things you were supposed to do my main example that I typically use is musicians. Every musician I've ever worked with fails to market their content. Like no one I've worked with so far, like markets at all. Like they do like they zero. <laughs> they literally do nothing for their marketing. It's just like you just spent all this time and energy. You wrote the lyrics, you found a producer, you have a song. You went to a, a mixing and mastering, you went to a sound engineer, you went to a recording label, and maybe you professionally recorded the song. Now you actually spent the time paying to record it and paying to have it mixed and mastered properly so it sounds good. Now you went and you spent money this isn't as expensive. I mean, DistroKid's pretty cheap. Uh, here's a link on how you can get 47% off if you didn't know. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty cheap, but still, now you're spending money to get on Spotify and Apple Music and Google Play, and you scheduled your release like you're supposed to, and you have a release date, and the song is coming out, and you do nothing. You don't, you don't promote it at all. Maybe, maybe you send some links to like some friends and family, but that's about it. And the day of the release, you sent pretty much text it to all your contacts um, and then just post it on all your social media. But that's it. The last time you post on your social media was the last time you dropped a song. You've literally done no social media marketing. You, you, you Not even just organic marketing, but you didn't do any advertisements. You didn't run any campaigns whatsoever to promote and market all this work and money and effort and time. You just put into this one song, this one single, and you did zero marketing for it. Why? Like, I just don't get that. Don't don't say, oh, this, this music system doesn't work when you don't do all the parts. You know, don't ask yourself why you failed when you, you didn't do your freaking homework. Like when there are clear steps given and if you don't do all those steps, there's a problem. Someone went to go try it and they're like, no, we're gonna, we're gonna only do like half of that and then it didn't work. If you're gonna do something, do it right and then say it works or it doesn't work. Don't say it doesn't work and then you didn't even try it fully. You know, you, you kind of just got like a taste of it. You didn't really like, full-blown put all your effort into it and try it I don't know that mindset to me just it, it feels like you're going you're gonna go on a road trip and the first sign that there's like a detour or a road close that's it you go home road trips canceled you were gonna you were gonna go from a road trip from like you know New York City all the way to California you're gonna you're gonna drive the whole way you're gonna have this amazing cross-country road trip, but you got on the, you know, got on the throughway, got on the freeway, whatever you call it. First thing you notice, oh, road closed or ramp closed, you know, use detour, and you're like, well, <laughs> guess the road trip's canceled. We gotta go home. We can't do it. And then you, you, you say the road trip as a whole was a failure because you know the one step you decided to skip, and you know, I mean. You can't blame the whole process if you're not willing to do all of the steps. You can't do part of it and say, oh, this whole thing is broken. 
because that's just that's just not how it works um you you're gonna end up self-sabotaging if you do that so just a little piece of advice for you um I'm, I'm sure some of you need to hear this and, and maybe you need to send this to someone else and they need to hear it but yeah don't don't judge the whole process if you're if you're not willing to put in all the effort it's just it's unfair to yourself it's unfair to the process and it's unfair to the people who have done it and succeeded i don't know but anyway thanks for watching i appreciate your time like subscribe comment if you haven't please comment here are some videos over here that you can check out and then you can subscribe right over there uh thank you again peace